Yeah, boy. Today we have Sonic action figures. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Now give me the microphone. Us? No. It's my turn. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Excited to be back again with something different. This is not a Toy Story toy. It is Sonic. I am a huge fan of the Sonic movie series. I've watched the first two movies. I even got a lot of the older toys from that line. What's really cool about this toy is you get four action figures in one shot. You get Knuckles. He hasn't been released individually yet, so it's your chance to get that. You also get a light up feature on the Try Me. You can press the buttons here on Shadow and Sonic and you can see that their eyes and their hair kind of lights up. So that is super cool and a, a really fun gimmick for why I bought this. And also you get an angry looking Tails in there, which is pretty epic. So it's a great packaging. I love the background there. It looks like they're not sure where they are, but it looks cool. Side of the packaging says Sonic 3, the hedgehog. There's Sonic looking awesome. Love the way the back looks. It says Sonic Shadow, light up, and it's got all the characters, Knuckles, Sonic, Shadow, and Tails looking cool. On the side, instead of Sonic, we get Shadow this time on this side. All the barcode information on the bottom. Top has a viewing window with the logo. I feel like these are the best accurate representations of what we see in, in the movies. So I think they're really nice. And I like the Jack specific upscaled from the older toys because I really like what size these are. I really like the glass eyes effect that you have here on Knuckles. All of them have it and it looks like there's glass. Obviously it's probably an acrylic plastic, let's be real, but it does look like there's uh, a wet glossy look on the eyes, which is movie accurate to the movie. It looks like that in the movie, so I think that's cool. The head sculpt is great. I would give this figure a 10 out of 10 so far. I love the head movement, even though it is limited, at least he has some kind of, looks like a ball joint because you can kind of rotate it in a circular motion, but although it doesn't do much, he does have a really crazy uh, ab crunch here. So he can go side to side, up and down. It is a little limited, but you can do 360 as well. So that is great articulation. It does kind of have like a little ball joint up here. So you have a good range of motion up there. So there's a lot of points of articulation at the elbow, even here at the hand, it can open and close to like open and grab objects, which is reaches actually pretty far. It's pretty awesome. Very impressed with that actually. That's a really good range there for just the hand alone. And they both can do that. And they have a uh, rotation at the wrist too. There's swivel and rotation on everything here, even on the legs, on the knees as well, looks good. And here's the bottom of the shoes, good detail. Everything rotates and there's even like a ankle rocker right here. Looks like pretty cool. I like that a lot. This one is awesome. And although it doesn't light up or anything, it's a really nice figure and this will scale with the rest of the five inch uh, Sonic figures. And it's nice. They have not released a five inch Knuckles standalone figure yet, but that should be coming, I think in wave two I saw. So these are, I think are part of the wave two figures, not sure. But it's crazy to have all these Sonic toys before Sonic 3 even comes out. The movie's not even out yet, but I'm very excited for it because Shadow debuts in it. Sonic has the glass eyes too, but then when you press the stomach button, he's got hair that lights up. Very nice. And then also on his eyes, you can see that they're flashing blue there, which is really cool looking. We'll do that in the dark later on, but he has the same standard articulation as the other Sonic movie figure. He even has that ball joint there at the shoulder. So all the same standard articulation with the hands to opening and closing. This is the best articulated figures we've gotten yet. And then back here you have a little screw hole because that's where the batteries go. Now I will say it does come with batteries included, so you don't have to worry about that. I like that it does come with batteries and I guess to, you can't turn it off once you press it. It just keeps Yeah, so if you press it, it like wants to turn off, but it doesn't. You have to let it kind of run its course and then it'll just cycle through the light and then it auto turn off by itself. So there's no on or off switch. So that's really interesting. Next is Shadow. I really like the glass eyes too on this one. It's kind of like the other standard figure release that we got. It's pretty nice and it has a button right here. Look at those eyes. Look at that hair detail lighting up. That is super cool on the top too. That is awesome. And the red really stands out with the lights on. I th I'm going to do a test with the lights off, but that's so cool. Same articulation as the other ones. There's no differences except for the little screw hole in the back to put the batteries. That's different than the other shadow release. And then what's different about this shadow is obviously the light up feature on the hair and the eyes. And that's pretty cool. And you can see the button outline. Other than that, it's the same articulated figure, but I really like how that looks. 
very epic and I like that they all have standard articulation and basically the same figure. Tails looks grumpy or a little bit mad. <laughs> it's pretty funny because the standard, uh, if you buy uh, Tails by himself, he's the happy version. So if you want the sad version, you have to buy this pack to get it. He looks a little angry. Um, he's got these tails that articulate pretty nice too. Pretty crazy wide range of motion together or separate. Very nice. I do like this a lot. A very fun figure. It does not light up either, but it goes great with the rest of the figures. All right, I dimmed the lights in here. So let's see if it shines a little brighter. Wow, that looks so cool. Definitely, you can tell it uh, shines a lot brighter when you turn off the lights or you're in darker lighting. You can just see that's a very bright glow. So in person, it looks even better, I think, than on camera pictures. Don't do it justice. I think they uh, really look best in person. So you need to pick this up yourself because they look so cool. As cool as they look here on camera, they look even better in person. I think they look awesome. They look more vibrant and just brighter. Definitely uh, very bright lights in here. They're not subtle. You can definitely see them. So I really love that a lot. Really reminds me of the movie trailer when they're about to fight. Looks super awesome. Well, that was a look at the Action 4-pack, and surprise, surprise, I didn't just buy the 4-pack. Surprise, I've also bought the single-release Wave figures for Wave 1, which includes Sonic, Shadow, Tails, and Ivo Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman. It was really hard to find these, I will say. I found them at Walmart and online, but uh, I found Sonic first, then Shadow, and then I could never find Tails, so I actually had to get Tails on eBay. I don't know why. I'd never find Tails, but then I did find a bunch of these. I heard uh, Robotnik got recalled at Walmart or something, so hopefully he comes back so you guys can collect them. I got lucky and bought it at Walmart before that happened. I was hunting for them right when I heard they dropped. But the packaging is really nice for Sonic 3. I'm actually a fan of this, this box art. And even on the back, it's not too exciting, but I do like that they have the character renders here of the actual toys on the back, all the figures you can collect. So let's open them up and take a closer look at them. I have to say, these are definitely my favorite Sonic movie figures in my collection. I really love them a lot. They're great uh, for display collectors like me, or you know, if you wanna play with them, you can too. They're articulated, they're great for stop motion, I know that, so they're really fun figures, and I think they're a huge upgrade from what we got in the past. We'll do a little comparison after, but looking at Sonic, love the glass eyes look. Really looks awesome, looks just like Sonic from the movie. It doesn't light up this one, but it's still cool. He has pretty good head articulation. He's got that ball joint there too that kind of comes in, uh, not only from the shoulder, but it actually has like a butterfly joint right there, which I didn't see on the light up Sonic figure. The hands do open. Everything else articulates the same with the ab crunch. Looks great. They're all awesome in their own way, but how can you go wrong with Sonic? This is just the best Sonic movie figure I've ever seen. It's super nice well painted on the app so great job jack specific on this sonic this one's hard to find a lot of people scalp this on ebay i've been noticing but everybody wants shadow is very popular because he's kind of the star of uh, sonic 3 so i don't blame them he makes his debut he looks great and look at those eyes i love the glass eye look kind of reminds me of those uh, super mario figures they did really cool this one does not light up either but it's awesome has the same articulation as sonic 2 with the in and out there at the shoulder like butterfly joint like type movement. Very nice. The black is a little different on this one. It looks a little bit more matte, but a little shiny too at the same time, but really nice looking figure. And you can do a lot of dynamic posing with this. This Tails is happy, unlike the grumpy one I just opened up. Pretty nice. You can see the, the tails articulate really crazy, which is cool. You can kind of like twist them too, which is really creative. Really helps him stand because he doesn't really stand well this figure, but with the tails, it helps him stand. He has the open hands too. I love that all these figures can do that with the hands. It's pretty fun. Even though tails is a smaller figure, he still has that glass eye effect, which is pretty awesome. I love this figure a lot. I feel like they really have improved the head sculpts here over the years. It really does look like the Jim Carrey likeness here with uh, the bald look, you know, <laughs> and the mustache and the eyes. They did a great job with the paint apps. His costume is like rubbery, kind of like a flexible, Plastic material feels like rubber, but it's probably just like a pleather plastic, you know. He has knee joint there. He has a rocker here on the ankles. Pretty nice. He can kind of do the splits a little bit, 
but that coat is in the way for sure. But a uh, pretty awesome figure. I really like this Dr. Eggman a lot. And he has the little kind of like I love you hands for some reason in sign language. And then he's got that other hand that's open. So I was wondering, oh, can I put the coffee cup from that other figure in his hand? But I don't think he'll be able to hold it unless I put like some tape in his hands or something, unfortunately. But um, it would be nice because the coffee cup kind of scales with him. It does look like a small coffee, obviously, but I like that it scales with him a little bit. So that's unfortunate you can't hold it, though. So I'd have to put, like, maybe a clear rubber band around it or something so that he can hold his coffee. I think that'd be awesome. I did notice some differences from the new Light Up Sonic that we got. You know, besides the fact that his hair lights up here and his eyes light up, his smile is different. He has, like, a closed mouth smile. Here you can kind of see Sonic's mouth opening up a little bit. So the smile... And the mouth are different. I noticed that the eye shape looks different too. His expression here is kind of like more like mischievous or he's like trying to be, you know, about to fight mode. Looks a little angry-ish, like he's going to get into fight mode. He looks really happy. So this is the happy Sonic and this is like, I'm going to fight you, Sonic. So that is a huge difference. Other than that, the coloring looks a little different here. I realized here there's no app crunch here on the light up one. He has app crunch on this one for the articulated. They are the same size, but that's a big difference because probably the electronics or the button in him probably doesn't allow for that app crunch. And then obviously the screw in the back. It's a big difference between these two Sonics. But other than that, though, they look pretty much the same. And But it's cool to have an alternate Sonic. So it's kind of worth picking both of these up to have that variety. Quick comparison here with uh, Shadow. Same thing. There's no app crunch like this figure on this one because of the button. And the expression looks actually the same. They didn't really change the expression like with Sonic's, they gave him a different mouth. Here it looks exactly the same, honestly. So these figures are pretty much, they didn't change the sculpt or anything. Uh, they just changed uh, the button there. They just added the screw for the batteries and the button system for the lights. Took away the ab, ab crunch for the electronics. But it's basically the same figure. I didn't notice any other differences between light up uh, shadow and this shadow. There might be some like, very light coloring differences with the shoes or something, but basically it's the same thing. Pretty cool though to see the if there's any differences. End of the day, it was worth upgrading the old Sonic movie figures to the new ones. It's just a better scale, better details. Overall, it's just way better. This looks so much better. Look at the old ones and the new ones. This is my old uh, 2.5 inch. Here's the old Robotniks uh, 4 inch and 2.5 inch with the new one. Everything is just superior in every way. So I really want to thank Jack Specific for paying attention to those little details to make these figures look that much more amazing. And I'm going to definitely keep the new ones in my collection and display them because I just really love the movie and the figures are awesome. Not only are the figures awesome, but they're just really cool to see on the shelf. Well, there you have it, a look at my brand new Jack Specific Sonic 3 movie toy action figures. I really love them a lot. They did a great job on these. I really like the light-up features for this Sonic right here. Looks so nice. And I really like the light-up features here for Shadow. That just makes it feel more premium. I mean, you are paying a pretty penny for these. The four-pack is about $55, and individually they're like 15 bucks each. So it does add up. But these are the ones that I wanted to collect personally for the new Sonic 3 movie. I'm not really into the play sets and other vehicles or anything. In the future, I may add like a Super Sonic into the mix, but this is great and I'm really happy with my collection. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me in this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You weren't a real buzz like you, you're a, now you're an action figure! You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. That might be. You are a child's plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.